Well, Peter Wallison is going to be one of those commissioners uh, on the panel who will be uh, questioning Rubin and also Prince. And uh, Peter is right now a senior fellow. His day job, we were joking about, is, uh, is a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. Uh, Peter, uh, uh, great to have you with us. And I know uh, you're on your way there any moment. Um, you know, one thing that I'm just very curious about, you know, and listening to what Greenspan had to say and what you're going to hear from Rubin and Prince, how is that going to eventually help you dig into what caused this crisis? I think what Greenspan had to say was really important, and that is that the crisis was caused by an enormous number of subprime and alt A mortgages, in other words, very weak mortgages in but our we financial know that, system. Though. We oh know no, that. we actually one of the things he said was we didn't know that. We didn't know that uh, back then. Now no, we know that now. Well, we know that now. So the fact that we didn't know it back then is very important because a lot of people made decisions not understanding how bad the market really was, that half of all mortgages in the United States were subprime mortgages. And as soon as the bubble ended, those mortgages were going to start to fail. And in fact, they did. And it was the failure of those mortgages and the securities that backed them um, that caused the financial crisis when so many institutions that were holding those mortgage-backed securities ultimately failed themselves or at least became very weak and unstable. That's, this is an extremely important point. You had some of the smartest people in the room at Citigroup yesterday tell you how it happened on their watch. They had their risk models and all that. Yeah. What did you make of that testimony and what is it going to lead you to ask Bob Rubin and Chuck Prince today? Well, I think one of the things that I tried to make clear yesterday is that blaming people is not the point. The point is trying to find out what facts were known and why those facts were significant. And one of the things that came out of the discussion with the people at Citi was that they had absolutely no idea how many bad mortgages were out there. The models didn't show that. The models didn't have that information. Um, that was true of the rating agencies. It was true of the people at Citi. It was true of their risk management people. They had no idea. And so, of course, they were making investments thinking that historical trends would follow. That is, this bubble would eventually deflate. When it deflated, losses would be suffered. Mm -hmm. Those losses would be in accordance with previous historical trends. That wasn't at all true. We had an unprecedented number of subprime and all-day mortgages, 26 million, half of all our mortgages. And so when this bubble deflated, we had a huge crisis. All of our financial institutions were in trouble. Some of them are still in trouble. Right. So it's not a question of whether anyone had foresight or, or was stupid or didn't, or didn't manage yeah. or, was or was highly negligent paid. or was or was of course they were highly paid. But you can no matter how highly paid you are, there's only a certain amount you can possibly know if the information isn't there and it wasn't there. You know, um Peter, a lot has been made about this commission itself and the small budget that you have for this really yes. gargantuan task, uh, which is to, to figure out exactly what happened in this crisis. Um, some are saying it's an impossible task. I mean, what is going to be success for you in this commission? Well, I think success for me as a member of the commission will be to have a report that describes what actually happened. It doesn't blame people. Um, but and doesn't complain about what people were paid and so forth, which is a, a significant factor, but not the cause of the financial crisis. I want us to focus entirely on what caused the financial crisis. And if we can do that... But in the hopes of what? Influence, influencing regulation uh, down the road? I would influencing hope, regulation now? I, I would hope it would influence regulation. You might notice that Congress is going ahead with proposed regulations right. and laws without even waiting for the commission that they started. This is sort of like so prescription first, diagnosis second, right? Well, I think it's, it's a, a terrible way to legislate. It's irresponsible. If they want to know the facts, they ought to wait for the facts before, before passing laws. Uh, that never seems to have occurred to them. But from my point of view, what would be important, and this will be important from the standpoint of history, is that from 50 years from now, when people look back at this financial crisis, they can understand what caused it. And if we provide the wrong reasons, then the policies that will be adopted then are likely to be wrong, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Peter. Well, great for you to stop by.